Catherine at Resin Obsession and today I'm really excited to be able to introduce you to a couple new products that we're carrying. We have the new glitters and mica fragments from Stampendous. If you're into glitter at all for your resin jewelry projects, you're going to love these products. So let's take a look at what they are. So we have a, the micro glitter line. As you can see, this is a very finely ground glitter, um, very fine consistency as compared especially to the glass glitter, which is a lot coarser. You can actually really see some big fragments here. And then the biggest pieces of all are going to be the mica fragments. And you can see these are really big flakes. So let's use these in a couple projects and see how they turn out. So these are our one and a half inch silver pendants that I've taken scrapbooking paper, cut it to fit the pendant, put it in the bottom of each and sealed it with two layers of a clear drying glue. I've mixed some easy cast epoxy resin and now I'm going to add just a little bit of resin to each pendant. So once you have the resin in your pendants and you've removed any bubbles, then you can add in your glitters. So I'm going to start over here with the micro glitter and we're just going to shake a little bit on and see what happens. This is a very finely ground glitter. And you can see it wants to rest on top. Certainly if you wanted to have this mixed in your piece, I would probably recommend mixing this glitter in with your resin before pouring it into your pendant. So let's try the glass glitter. A much coarser um, appearance and texture. And as you can see, this really wants to sink into your piece. And then lastly, the micas, I, because of the big flakes, they're almost like fish food, I would probably just pick a few off and place them into your pendant. And you can see there how they look. Now, of course, at this point, you can do something like a toothpick to help um, move around your pieces. I don't know if it's going to help with the micro glitters that much, but certainly with the bigger pieces, it can. So I'm going to adjust these the way I want them, and then we're going to let them cure. So now that our pendants have cured, let's take a look and see how they turned out. So here's the micro glitter, and as you can see, the glitter stayed on the top. Um, kind of a neat effect to this pendant, but certainly um, that's something to keep in mind. If you want your glitter dispersed throughout the pendant, you're going to need to mix it in ahead of time. However, for those of you that love to pour resin into molds and then add the glitter to the back, you're probably really going to want to use some of these because as you can see, the glitter stayed on the surface. So this is the glass glitter piece. Um, I really like the effect here. Um, kind of really neat, you know, a little chunky, um, still has some sparkle, some kind of neat stuff. And then the last one is the one we did with the mica. Um, a little bit of sparkle, maybe not quite as chunky looking, but certainly the pieces are bigger. So depending on what kind of effect you're going for, I think any one of these could probably really do you a nice job. So if you have any questions about this project, the bezels, um, some other techniques, by all means, please leave a comment in the box below. And if you get a minute, stop by resinobsession.com. We have a blog and jewelry making forum, and we're happy to help you with your resin projects. Happy cat.